Hey y'all, I'm Love Biscuit and I'm playing Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, this is my Inquisitor, Biscuit. Mm, isn't that a nice name? I like it. Uh, anyways, we just did um, The Secrets of Two Lock Horde. We went around and picked up three tablets. Um, these huge ass tablets that we just stuck in our pocket. And now we're just going to quick travel because I bind everywhere I go. And I'm going straight to the Sith Academy. And I guess I'm waving at the pod. Hi, pod. <laughs> um, we're gonna go inside and talk to Harkin, who is just the sweetest man you would ever meet. I kid you not. I love him. He's so nice to me. Not really. <laughs> um, always remember to keep your buffs up. I always forget. Seriously. I'll be all of a sudden fighting and I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. But I've come across a lot of nice people who buff me up as they're running by, so... I try to repay it. Um, one thing, do not, if you're on a PvE server, you don't want a PvP, or an RP server, and you don't want a PvP, do not buff anybody who's green. I learned the hard way today, actually. I think it was today or yesterday. It, you do, don't buff anybody that's green, okay? Because <laughs> then you're flagged for PvP. Yes. Yes, remarkable. Magnificent. You, you slave. Wait, no. Acolyte, you're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? Yes, my lord. I found the holocron. Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb, the Sith lords passing it by, and then the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me, how did you manage it? had to sacrifice seven Tukata and eat their hearts. Really? How strange. It didn't work when I tried it. Your work so far in bringing back this holocron and now the text from Tulak Horde's tomb has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. I hope I live up to them. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. Well, isn't she nice? She's way nicer than Harkin. I was just about to send Fawn off. What delayed you, slave? I like to stop and smell the blood. You'll be smelling your own blood soon. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? Of course. As always, I'm brilliant. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. Please tell me Fawn can come. We'll have so much fun. Fawn has been training at combat his whole life. He was born to be Sith. You are just as likely to chop your own arm off as not, slave. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. Mm, see, isn't he sweet to me? It's funny because when we went off to go do the Secrets of Tulak Horde, he's like, here, Fawn, go to the library. And then, here, you, slave, running to the monster-infested tomb. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, but he's he's... He's fit to be a, a Sith and train combat his whole life, but you're going to keep him all safe in a library? <clears throat> yeah, whatever. So, now, we are going to run upstairs and do some combat training. Let's see what happens up there. I really hate these pants. Can't wait till I can change my pants. I think it's a color. Maybe now that they're tight. Excuse me. I'm gonna talk while I'm yawning. You're welcome.
Hello there, friend. You remember my brother and me from downstairs? With Harkon, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. This sounds vaguely like a threat. What did I ever do to you guys? I'm sorry, girl. I liked you. I really did. But Harkon made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. If you're going to kill me, then do it. I'm sorry. I really am. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte. Aww. Poor guys. I must feel sorry for them. Look at those keen moves. And because I don't want to run down the stairs, we're just going to hop right down here. Bam, look at those moves. Oh, and I love the little mouse bots. I want one. I think they're cute. I remember watching, I think it was Robot Chicken, or it was Family Guy. I watch the Star Wars ones all the time, so I get them mixed up. I don't know why. But he's all like, you'll never guess what I saw. And he's like, what, Halle Berry? And he's like, oh, what the heck, man? Now anything I say is going to be not the same. And he's like, what do you think you're going to do? You're just a little truck. <laughs> I don't know. Makes me laugh. Well, look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some dark lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fawn are the last ones. Speaking of Fawn, he seems conspicuously absent. You only wish it, slave. No. You took so long returning, I sent Fawn ahead. Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? I think I can do that much. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fawn for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fawn's already started, so my advice? Run, slave. Run. Ahem. <clears throat> One moment, please. Lord Zash! What are you doing here? Overseer, are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No. Of course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? He finished his trial early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this acolyte brought from Tulakhord's tomb, and it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. Uh-oh. Fawn's in trouble. It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? Now, my dear acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Deshard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Naga Sado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Dashard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. I have yet to meet a danger I can't defeat. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, acolyte. Alright, happy gaming.